Welcome to the Comlex 5 minute review. Visit www.comlexflashcards.com for Comlex prep resources and this can help you prepare for the board exam as well as score more points on the exam. Let's review ophthalmology and today we're going to be looking at disorders of the eyelids, conjunctiva and the lacrimal gland. This is a picture of a Tyrigium. It's mainly conjunctiva which begins to grow into the cornea. Okay? The etiology is mainly UV light and dry conditions. Patients complain of blurred vision, irritation, itching, burning feelings in their eye and um, during the growth there appears to be swollen and red. Okay, So the eyes may be swollen and red as this is growing in. But again on physical exam you can clearly see that the conjunctiva begins to grow into the cornea. Complications include blockage of vision as it grows into this cornea here um, and management is to use eye drops to moisten the eye and decrease this inflammation. What is a hordelium? This is mainly an acute localized infection or inflammation of the eyelid margin to the hair follicles of eyelashes or the meibomian glands and blockage or infection is common with staph. Okay? So in this picture here you can see it right here um, and it's localized infection. You can see that there's the hair follicles here. And patients complain of a tender, red, swollen pain. The visual um, acuity is normal, and so that's a key finding here. Um, and again, you can diagnose this by physical exam, and mainly, you know, it spontaneously resolves, but some patients do benefit from warm compresses. Um, and if it's severe, then consider topical antibiotics, but it spontaneously resolves in most cases. What about an entropion? Well, this is a lower eyelid which is drooped inwards, okay? The etiology is mainly older, weakness of the muscles surrounding the lower part of the eye, okay? And there's redness, light sensitivity, dryness, increased lacrimation, foreign body sensation. Um, and again, on physical exam, you can clearly make the diagnosis. Also, to manage it, you can try artificial tears, um, epilation of eyelashes and um, sometimes surgery may be necessary. But again, when you see the word entropion, you're thinking of the lower eyelid um, which is turned inwards, okay? And it's generally due to the weakness of the muscle. There may be redness, light sensitivity, and dryness, but the key here is the increase in uh, lacrimation. What about an ectropion? Well, this is where the lower eyelid is turned outwards, exposing the palpebra conjunctiva. And so you can see it right here. But the etiology is mainly due to seventh nerve palsy. Um, and the clinical manifestations include excessive lacrimation, drooping of the eyelid, redness, photophobia, dryness, foreign body sensation. And you can manage this by artificial tears. What's a blepharitis? This is an inflammation of the eyelid margins caused by staph aureus or due to a non-ulcerative skin condition. On the anterior form, it affects the outside lids where the eyelashes attach and it's caused by bacteria or uh, seborrheic infections. On the posterior side, um, it's mainly the inner eyelid. It's caused by problems with the meibomian glands and um, you know acne rosacea can also be one of the causes here. So look for inflammation of the eyelids, staph aureus, two types, one is outside the lids and one is in the inner lid. And here is a picture of that right here. You can see it right here. Again, staph aureus causing itching, lacrimation, tearing, burning, photophobia. If it's seborrheic, you can have lid margin erythema. Okay, and there's oily secretions. To manage this, you want good hygiene. You want to remove the scales with baby shampoo, apply bacitracin or erythromycin, and on the posterior side, you want to, um, you know, make sure the meibomian gland is um, expressed. All right, and if the corneal inflammation is severe, you can consider oral antibiotics, artificial tears, or cool compresses. But main thing is maintaining a good hygiene. What is the calasion? This is mainly localized sterile swelling of the upper or lower eyelid due to blockage of the meibomian gland. Okay, and if it ruptures, granulation tissue can result. It's secondary to a hordolium, and the risks include blepharitis um, as well as acne. So here it is. 
and you want to use warm compressors, injections possibly if it doesn't improve and you may need surgery if everything else has failed but generally warm compressors do help um, and in some cases it also distorts the vision if it's near the um, cornea okay but it's generally painless it's non-tender and it's hard that was a complex five minute review of ophthalmology and diseases of the eyelid visit www.comlexflashcards.com for more information on preparing for the complex board exam and free material as you go along your first second third and fourth years of medical school good luck in your preparation